residing in Sun City Center, Hillsborough County, Florida, Sir, a grandmother with a remarkable survival history having recently triumphed over cancer, encountered an unexpected twist on April 10, 2018. It all commenced innocently enough with her endeavor to drain rainwater accumulated on her backyard patio amidst inclement weather. Armed with a metal shovel, Sire hastened her efforts to return indoors. I just thought, if I just had a couple of minutes to fix it, I was going to go into the house, she recounted to WFTS. However, what seemed like routine maintenance escalated dramatically due to an intense storm warning issued by the National Weather Service in Ruskin, Florida. Residents were cautioned about heavy rainfall, lightning, and winds gusting up to 60 miles per hour, along with the possibility of hailstones causing roof damage and tree uprooting. Despite the forewarnings, Sir persisted in her efforts to prevent water from seeping into her home. Yet, her determination unwittingly led to a perilous encounter with a one-in-a-million phenomenon, striking her down amidst the tempest. Indeed, while clutching the metal shovel, Sire found herself struck by lightning in her backyard. Witnessing the flash, she was immediately engulfed in excruciating pain throughout her body. It was just shocking my whole entire insides, she recounted. It was a horrible feeling, and I just wanted to keep the water out of the house. Reflecting on the incident, Sire struggled to articulate the intensity of the pain she experienced. It's like when you get a quick sap, I guess from electricity, she explained. But it's a real big one throughout your whole entire body that you can't stop. Although occurrences of humans being struck by lightning are exceedingly rare in the United States, a small number of individuals still fall victim to this phenomenon. The National Weather Service reports an average of 47 lightning-related fatalities each year, with hundreds more sustaining serious injuries from strikes across the country. Remarkably, lightning can achieve temperatures nearing 50,000 AF, surpassing the heat of the sun's surface. Consequently, even fleeting encounters with lightning can have profound repercussions on the human body. Typically, victims of lightning strikes endure third-degree burns with their clothing and hair susceptible to igniting. Moreover, metal accessories like earrings or necklaces pose an additional risk, potentially searing into the skin and conducting electrical currents. The force of the strike may also rupture blood vessels, leaving behind distinct patterns of scarring known as Lichtenberg figures resembling the branching of lightning bolts. Dr. Joseph Zito, from Franklin Hospital in Long Island, New York, explained to Weather.com in January 2014, lightning does extensive tissue damage and induces burning. It carries substantial voltage, traversing the body to create entrance and exit wounds akin to those from gunshot wounds. Internally, the aftermath of a lightning strike can be catastrophic. Dr. Zito elaborated, lightning usually courses through the nervous system and tissue, resulting in neurological and cardiac complications. Cardiac arrhythmias, for instance, are common outcomes. Numerous neurological complications can arise from a lightning strike, including mood swings, memory impairment, and alterations in personality. Scientists suggest that the electrical current from such an event can modify brain cells. A striking example occurred in 1994 when orthopedic surgeon Tony Sicorio was struck by lightning while inside a phone booth. After being resuscitated and sustaining burns on his face, Sicoria experienced memory issues and developed an inexplicable passion for playing the piano. Within months, he transitioned to a career as a classical musician, leaving his previous profession behind. By April 2018, Sire was scheduled to consult a neurologist, yet the evident damage inflicted on her body included walking difficulties with the aid of a cane, along with numbness in her fingers and toes. Nevertheless, considering the potential severity of the situation, she issued a cautionary message to those who might find themselves outdoors during a storm. Please, when it's thundering and lightning, seek shelter indoors, Sawyer urged in her interview with WFTS. Don't linger outside like I did. Dr. Zito reinforced the core of her message, emphasizing the simplicity of avoiding lightning strikes. If you're in an area prone to lightning storms, avoid being the tallest object outdoors. Stay indoors, he advised. We tend to venture outdoors when bad weather strikes, but it's illogical. Exercise common sense. However, seeking shelter isn't always foolproof. Just days before Sarah's encounter, a 23-year-old woman in White Springs, Florida, was fatally struck by lightning while seeking refuge in a camper trailer during a storm. Despite the attempt to stay dry, the trailer was struck, injuring all five occupants. Sears' experience prompted her to purchase three lottery tickets upon her hospital discharge. When asked about her odds of winning after surviving the lightning strike, she quipped, well, that would be nice, 
Maybe someone else can finish my yard work. Joanne Sarr stands as living proof of the resilience of the human body, having not only survived cancer, but also a lightning strike. She is indeed a remarkable rarity, defying the odds in two extraordinary battles.